Hey there, YouTube. After last week's tech tips to know about the Manfrotto Pixie and the Joby Gorilla Pod, I've had a ton of people, subscribers, viewers, and friends ask me a bunch of filmmaking tips. So I've decided to make a three-part series about the top three questions I kept getting over and over and over again. I'm going to make these as quick as possible, so I'm hoping for a few minutes or less. So I'm going to speed through these. Let's get started. <laughs> The number one question and subsequently the topic of this video was what is the best editing software for newbies on a budget? There are tons of editing softwares out there. I mean just millions of editing softwares probably. I don't know. Maybe not a full million. But a lot of editing softwares. If I don't discuss yours, please leave it in the comments below. I feel that the answer to this question is best broken down by operating system. For Mac only users, the easiest and cheapest way to go is of course iMovie. This is an intuitive little software that is absolutely free to use and is a great way to start learning the editing process. Even better, it's a pretty easy jump to Final Cut Pro X which is my editing software of choice and is really gaining steam after recent updates to make it even better and faster. And in my opinion, a steal for $299.99. Once you own FCPX, it's yours and you never have to pay for updates or subscription fees like some of the other leading brands. All of the other softwares I'm going to discuss today are for Mac, Windows, and possibly Linux. I think Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve 15 deserves an honorable mention here. This software started as a color grading tool in the early versions to support Blackmagic's hardware controls, but now is a full editing suite that will rival any other top editing softwares out there. The best part is, it's absolutely free. It's not a demo version, it's not a trial, it's just free for the full version. You would only need the paid version for multi-user collaboration or simultaneous editing. The full studio version is still only $299. Hang with me, I'm only halfway through the list. No editing software would be complete without the mention of Adobe Premiere. Adobe switched to a Creative Cloud version many years back, which allows you to pay a monthly subscription for their full software. You can subscribe to the single app for $20.99 a month, or you can have the whole Adobe suite with absolutely all video, audio, photo, and animation software for $52.99 a month. Adobe does have a little brother software for their Premiere Pro called Premiere Elements that will run you $99 for a license but is currently at a 40% discount so it's only $59.99. I've used this software in the past but I found that it was a much tougher jump from Elements to Premiere than it was from iMovie to FCPX. Lastly but definitely not least is Avid Media Composer. If you've ever watched a film or a TV show in your life, there's a good chance it was made on Media Composer. This software just a year ago would have cost as much as $1,200 per license. They've jumped on the bandwagon and started their own subscription service for as little as $19.99 a month. Of course, there could be more add-ons, but that's ridiculously low compared to their previous prices. What's more amazing than that is they released a free version called Media Composer First that has almost all the features of the paid version. It's definitely a great way to get started and build your skills. Of course, if you're editing for YouTube, you might as well just use their YouTube editor. I'm just kidding. It's it's horrible. Be sure to check back for part two of the three-part series. In part two, I'm talking about how you can get started with stop motion for as little as $5 if you own a smartphone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you want to. Thank you guys. Later, YouTube.